God bless you and welcome to another episode of God at Work. It is great to be back with you and as you see on the thumbnail, the subtitle this week is Divine Connections. And the reason so is because my guest today, Mary Pedersen, is um, a person that has a passion to connect different ministries and different people together for the furtherance of the kingdom. And she has connected so many different people. When she sees a ministry that she thinks could be of a help to another one, she tries to connect them to see if there's a way to, for them to all link in. And she's worked at doing that through very different, various different aspects. We'll share some of those with you. But here's a picture of my guest today, Mary Pedersen. And it's wonderful that she can be with us today. She's moved from the Vancouver area over onto the island. So we've had a few complications trying to get everything all linked together, but it's all going to come together. We'll see. God bless you. The next song that Jerry, the first song that Jerry's going to do is I will look to Jesus because through all of this, it's something that we've all got to do is look to Jesus. Whichever way the wind blows I will look to Jesus And follow where he leads Though storms may rage around me And wars come past surround me I will look to Jesus And follow Beyond the present To a future resplandescent A day with no more sorrow When all tears are wiped away Though torments have assailed me His love has never failed me So I will follow Jesus Till my dying day Whichever way the world goes, whichever way the wind blows, I will look to Jesus and follow where He leads. Though storms may rage around me and wars come past surround me, I will look to Jesus and follow. And no brother, my father or my mother, unless they follow him, much less some politician, a preacher or musician, no actor or physician, unless they follow him, whichever way the Surround me, I will look to Jesus and follow where He leads. Yes, I will look to Jesus and follow where He Well, you're going to see there's a few differences in the way this is filming today. But we've had a few technical difficulties, but we've been working hard to overcome them. But you're going to notice a difference in the format and the way things are coming together, but you'll still get the same message. Hope it works well for you. God bless you.
God bless you. And as you can see, I have my guest here with me, Mary Pedersen, and she's living over on Vancouver Island. She used to live here closer so we could visit more often, but now we could only visit via these screens, but that's okay. But, you know, Mary, as I was telling you, she has this passion to connect people, to connect ministries, to do anything that she can to see the lost saved and the captive set free. So, Mary, you know, I first met you actually in Hawaii. Yes. Because of a connection. A friend of mine gave you my information so you could contact me in Hawaii, and we went zipping around the island. But right. um, when I came back, and when I moved back to Canada, you were very involved with uh, Women's Aglow. It was Women's Aglow, I believe, at that time, and now it's Aglow International, I understand. Yes. And you were very involved with them. And you use that gift that you have to connect people, to connect Jerry and I with several different of the Aglow chapters here, as well as your own. And now you are, I think it's the sort of the area of the greater Vancouver Sunshine Coast Aglow. And I know you have, because of COVID, meetings have changed the way they're done a lot. So what are you doing with that? Regular Zoom meetings or? Yeah, we've been doing Zoom meetings now. We're on about a third year now, and we've actually had a wonderful experience. We talked about it. We thought, what do we do? You know, let's go to Zoom. It was a new thing for us, and it's gone very well. We've got a beautiful class on God's love, and we've also got one on grieving, which I've had to uh, take for myself as well, and it's been very, very good, and I really recommend it. Um, yeah, my passion is... I'll have to get you to send me the link to that so I can put it in the description later so people can link up with it. Okay. If you could do that later. But um, when... Jerry and I have done via Zoom the Surya Glow here several times during the COVID sessions when Jerry couldn't come up here, he couldn't come into Canada, and we couldn't get in any other way other than jump over the wall through Zoom. And so we, yep. were, we were able to do that as well. There's a little logo here for the uh, Glow International. They have a worldwide vision, and yes. they're meeting all over the world. It's amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. I first met... I first heard about a glow actually when I was in Argentina mm -hmm. and the person Jane, I think it was Jane Hammond or Hans, Hanson. It was the international at that time. She was on a, a trip that I was at for pastors and leaders in yeah. Argentina. And that's when I first really met and heard anything about a glow. So it was pretty incredible. But then this year you spoke mm -hmm. at their conference in Edmonton. And there's a picture here of Mary's preaching there. So you can see she doesn't sit back and do nothing. She's a pretty busy person, so I'm really glad that you could take the time to be with us today. But I know that, Mary, uh, one of your passions is the involvement with the First Nations communities here throughout the country, throughout the province, throughout the lot on the island, and the, the move of God that there is amongst them. I have been over in a few of the communities and seen amazing things that God was doing. And then God, not, not that long, a few months ago, gave me a vision dream vision on a house it the community on the little tiny island of a house it mm -hmm. and how amazing things were going to break forth there so i know you're working with a lady named anna price That's she great. lives on quadra island could you share a little bit about her, that story well we've been very very blessed you know how when you do something god orders your footsteps i absolutely believe that he knows exactly where to put you when i came to the island well, my son works for a uh, First Nations radio station for a start. And my heart just started crying out for the First Nations. And I first meet Anna through a friend. She'd gone to Bible school in Surrey. And, and I just knew that I needed to hook up with her. We have been so blessed. We have had meetings at her home and she's always bringing people in. She's a real, she's like me. She is always bringing people in. She has taken me across the whole island. I, and I've been up to Prince Rupert as well. but And she has connected me with First Nation. And it just it's just all falling into place. And I know that we're going to talk about Leah later. Leah has also come to her home. And we've had amazing, wonderful meetings. And God is just, it's, it's all peoples that we care about all peoples. But sometimes God specifically says, right now, this is where I'm planting you. In Surrey, it was different. But here... It has a lot, I've had a lot of connections with First Nations. And Anna is a huge, uh, yeah, 
Uh, she's been a huge part of what God is speaking to me in my life about the First Nations. Um, there's pain everywhere. You know, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter whether you're First Nations or, or Canadian. or We've all gone through much pain. We all go through much pain, you know. And, and my heart and Anna's heart is to see the captive set free. That's our heart. And so that's Amen. what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I had, um, being up in the Arctic a few times, been involved with several of the people groups from the First Nations up there. And in one of the churches in Cambridge Bay, the one of the pastor's wives is a Diné group of, in the, the, of the indigenous people, the a Diné princess. Mm -hmm. Her father was one of the chiefs. And so it's really interesting getting to talk to her and learn a lot. Because I've had to learn a lot in studying these different groups not just not just the natives but a lot of the different um nationalities and things like that that we have spread throughout this country we can make a lot of blunders if we don't look up and study different cultural things i've done that culturally in a few places but sure. i know working it's amazing i think i think we're going to see a real explosion amongst the first nations people's yeah. groups all through this country i yeah. think it's amazing what god is going to do yes so i'm glad that you're connected there with anna to be able to do that Mm -hmm. Amen. And then you got in touch with me a little while ago. You were talking to me about a friend of yours named Leah, Leah, and um, her music. And I've listened to some of her songs. They're very beautiful. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now they're only in English. We're going to have to teach her some Spanish. <laughs> but um, her and her husband, together with another gentleman, have put together what they're calling Unity Fest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're it's being held down in Melville in the in the Comox Valley on Vancouver Island. Yes. But um, I'm going to play you a little short video clip okay. about the upcoming event, and it's talking about the importance of seeing this unity and mm -hmm. how so many people are tired of the divisions and That's the. Right. Right. All the different churches being divided, and you know the fractures and the disconnects amongst these churches. And it doesn't. It doesn't please God's heart. That's right. He wants to see us working together in exactly. unity. Yes, for totally. the furtherance of His kingdom. You know, yes. and when you see His heart mm -hmm. for the lost, Amen. and His heart for the captives, mm -hmm. you know, He came to set the captives free. He's yes. told us that. He's made yes. it very, very clear. That there's a, another picture here, a lo the logo from the Unity Fest, which is, you know, it's talking about one people, one God. Now, I know you've been quite involved in the organizing or working with the organizers of this in the promotion of it. Can you share a little bit, Mary? Well, I met Leah at my church, and I watched her do worship at Anna's. I have watched her for a year, and, I, and the Lord just said, you need to walk with her. You need to help her. And she's just so passionate in what she is doing. She's a songwriter. She writes, she can write a song a day. Her music, when, when God gives you a gift, you need to walk in it. And you see that she is walking in that gift. And I don't know all the plans that God has for her ministry. But I just said, Leah, I want to walk with you. And I want to help you as much as I can, do whatever I can to help her gifts. Because we need to see our gifts go forward. God gives us gifts. And we need to see them go forward. And so that's what we're doing right now. We're putting on that festival. And she's, she's looking for open doors wherever the Lord will open and lead her. Yeah, now, this story. event is being held under a big tent on a 10-acre farm. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, yeah, it's on a big it farm. It reminds me a lot of the old music festivals from years ago, you know. That's right. That's <laughs> but it right. should be great. Yes. There's a picture yeah. here as well of Leah and her husband, Greg, and they're the ones that are working hard to put this event on. I know the tickets are going to be available soon. I don't think they are quite yet, are they? 
just coming out just just on yeah any any moment <laughs> any okay moment. we'll put the yeah. um, the information for that as well on the in the description so people can know how they can get a hold of these tickets so it's going to be a two-day event the 28th and the 29th and i think i saw somewhere it's going to start the evening of the 28th that's right mm -hmm. and and then all day the 29th and who knows it might even go into the 30th depending oh, whatever on who wants to do right <laughs> that's right and that, that said somewhere that they were going to hold some baptisms and all sorts of things that will be going on again whatever the lord yeah whatever the lord i'm kind of looking forward to it see what god's going to do yeah. And there's a, a picture here of Leah with a very good friend of mine in the background, actually, with uh, Terry, Sum Pastor Terry Somerville. Terry yeah. and I have done all, several things together. He actually came to Argentina with me uh, mm -hmm. at one trip, and he loved it down there. But it's really good to see Terry there in the background of the picture. Yeah. Well, Terry but, comes to Annas, too. T Terry comes when he can to Annas, you know, part of that. Oh, thing. that's wonderful. I can yeah. imagine Terry doing that. I can't see him sitting back doing nothing, you know. Yeah. Terry's one that's going to never retire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the rest of uh, us. This, I can ask Jerry to do a song here, and it's called Change the World. And it reminds me a lot of you, Mary, because I know that's your heart, to see the world changed from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Absolutely. I know that's your heart. Yeah, and this so song, that. it says, you can change the world. Mm -hmm. Take a little while, but just mm -hmm. with your smile. You could change somebody's life. Amen. So yeah. I'm going to have Jerry sing that song. Okay. You can't change the stormy weather. You can't change the sands of time You can't change the rugged mountain So it's easier to climb But you can change somebody's life Just by giving them your own One by one we'll change the world So come on sing this song you can change yourself It might take a little while You can change your friends Just by giving them a smile You can change the world And we've got so little time To chase away the darkness And fill the world with light You can't stop the rain from falling You can't stop the ocean's tide You can't stop the sun from shining Even if you try You can change yourself But you can stop that empty feeling You can change the world Of being all alone Just put love in someone's life You'll find love is in your own Yes, you can change yourself It might take a little while You can change your friends Just by giving them a smile You can change the world And we've got so little time To chase away the darkness And fill the world with light Yes, you can change yourself It might take a little while you can change your friends just by giving them a smile You can change the world and we've got so little time To chase away the darkness and fill the world with light Yes, we can change the world and we've got so little time To chase away the darkness and fill the world with light Change the world. That is... My heart, and that's my guest's heart specifically, is changing the world, seeing the captives set free, seeing people working together in unity to see these things take place, to see people coming into a knowledge of who Jesus Christ is and being set free by him. So it's been wonderful to have Mary with us. And if you know people that need to be connected, you know people that 
you need to connect with people that you can connect to somebody else, please do so just for the furtherance of the kingdom. We need to get over our differences and work together in unity. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the fact that you do not desire for us to work together in unity. You said, Lord, how good and how pleasant it is for the brethren to dwell together in unity. And Lord, we know that that is important. The enemy will try in every way he can to divide and conquer. But Lord, we need to hold fast to you, knowing that you change the world as we hold strong in the unity that you have designed for all of us. In your precious name, amen. Praise God. Well, I, I do hope that with, in spite of all of these differences and complications, that you will know that God is moving and touching your heart and those of others around. That if this has blessed you and you would like to sow into this ministry, please do so. Jerry will put the details up on the screen. God bless you.